Hi, welcome back to General Chemistry 2. My name is Chuck White and today's lesson is on organic chemistry. We're going to talk about the very special role of carbon and its ability to make hydrocarbon chains which act as scaffolds for building organic molecules. We'll talk about saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons, those with carbon-carbon double bonds and triple bonds. And we'll talk about the various types of functional groups or different kinds of groups of molecules that can be attached to hydrocarbon carbons to make uh, different types of organic molecules. And finally, we'll talk a little bit about aromatic compounds, which are uh, especially stable molecules that have extended uh, pi bonds. Now, carbon forms strong carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen covalent bonds to provide a stable backbone or a scaffold for appending different functional groups to make different kinds of organic molecules. It also easily forms five- or six-membered ring compounds. This is something that nitrogen atoms don't do and uh, oxygen atoms don't do, so carbon is very special in this regard. Here I've listed uh, a bunch of different alcohols with um, alkyl groups that either are straight or branched or form uh, rings uh, to form different kinds of primary, secondary, and uh, tertiary alcohols. Now, carbon also can form multiple carbon-carbon bonds, uh, so it's double bonds and triple bonds. And uh, those uh, double bonds and triple bonds have different kinds of bond angles uh, than the usual sorts of carbon structures where you have a roughly tetrahedral geometry and bond angles are roughly 109 or 100 to 111 degrees. Um, the presence of double bonds and triple bonds only slightly increases the reactivity of the carbon or hydrocarbon backbone, but it vastly increases the variety of structures that you can make uh, in different shapes and um, uh, different kinds of functional groups in different places. Now, functional groups are groups of atoms that get appended to hydrocarbons, for example, to make different kinds of organic molecules. So by replacing a carbon-hydrogen bond with a COH group, then we can make different kinds of alcohols. Um, aldehydes are uh, hydrocarbon chains. Here an alkyl group is uh, represented by the symbol R. And if you append a COH group to the end of one of these alkyl chains, uh, then you make a molecule called an aldehyde. If you attach two alkyl groups to a carbon-oxygen double bond, then you make a ketone. Ethers are two alkyl groups, which may or may not be the same, that are attached by a single oxygen atom to make a COC bridge. And acids are alkyl molecules that have a COOH group on them, where the H, the hydrogen atom uh, that's bound to the um, acid group, is acidic. Um, halides are where carbon forms strong bonds to either chlorine or fluorine or sometimes bromine. And uh, here I've pictured tetrafluoroethylene, which is the monomer unit for Teflon. Uh, amines are ammonia molecules where one or possibly more of the NH bonds has been replaced by a bond from nitrogen to an alkyl group. And esters are molecules where they're very much like acids, except the hydrogen in the acid functionality has been replaced by another alkyl group, which may or may not be the same as, as the one bound to the carbon. Now, there are lots and lots of uh, possible combinations of hydrocarbon backbones and functional groups, and so a systematic naming convention was adopted by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, or IUPAC. Uh, we'll just go through some examples here. The first compound here is a compound where the base chain, the longest chain in the molecule, is seven carbons long, one carbon at each end and one at each vertex uh, in the middle, and that would form a base name of heptane. Now, to carbon number three, uh, numbering them from the left-hand side, we have a methyl group appended, so this is 3-methylheptane. The second molecule has eight carbons in uh, the basic uh, longest chain, and so this um, and it, and uh, one of those carbon-carbon bonds is a double bond. So this is octene, and uh, we call it three octene because carbon number three is the first of uh, the bonds with that carbon-carbon uh, double bond, first atom, and that same atom has an ethyl group appended to it. So this is three ethyl three octene. 
The third molecule is basically a propanol because there are five carbon atoms and this is an alcohol, but the OH could go on carbon atom one, two, or three, and this one is attached to carbon atom two, so this is two propanol. Propanal is a, an aldehyde, and the base name is propanal because there are three carbons uh, in this uh, base chain. And uh, we don't need to name it because if the uh, CO double bond were in the middle except uh, instead of the end, then it would be a ketone instead of uh, an aldehyde. So it doesn't require one propanal. Propanal is just uh, sufficient to name it. And finally, we consider 2-hexanone, which is a ketone uh, with uh, six carbons, and the carbon-oxygen double bond is located on carbon number 2. You always count from the end that produces the smallest number uh, when you're labeling the uh, carbon atoms. So when uh, carbon is bound to three other atoms, uh, of course it has a valency of four, the extra electron can be shared with other carbon atoms that are also bound to three atoms in, to make delocalized multicenter center pi bonds. And benzene is the canonical example of this. And so um, kinetic, uh, benzene is a ringed compound with six um, carbon atoms, each of which is bound to two other carbon atoms and one hydrogen atom. And so the six carbon atoms share six uh, delocalized uh, pi electrons, which are out of the plane of this uh, molecule. And you could write this as uh, a ring with three double bonds, but what you have to recognize is that actually all six carbon atoms are uh, equivalent. So sometimes people write uh, the structure of benzene as a six-membered ring with a circle inside, just to emphasize the fact that all of the bonds are equivalent, even though there are just six electrons that make up this pi cloud. Naphthalene is also an aromatic molecule, and um, it has uh, ten uh, five double bonds, or ten pi electrons, which are all conjugated, alternating uh, single and double bonds, where all the carbon-carbon bonds are actually equivalent. Beta-carotene is the molecule which gives carrots its bright orange color, and uh, uh, this is a molecule with a long extended uh, series of alternating carbon-carbon uh, double and single bonds. It turns out that these bonds are not equivalent, and so the double bonds are a little bit shorter than the single bonds, but um, this is an example of a di molecule, which has a rich electronic structure and therefore low-lying electronic states that can absorb photons, and it gives beta-carotene its orange color. So next time we'll talk about the chemistry of biological molecules, uh, all of these different types of molecules as uh, important examples of organic molecules. We'll see you then.